Hey guys, what's up? Will here from Tech Tech Reviews, and today I have an unboxing of the 2012 15.4 inch MacBook Pro with Retina display. Uh, now, this was released a couple of weeks ago during WWDC, uh, and I was lucky enough to get my hands on one of these. So, the specs here is the 2.6 gigahertz quad core Intel i7 processor with 8 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM, and of course, the 512 gigabyte SSD for all that storage. So, go ahead and flipping this thing onto the back here, getting my pen knife and slicing open the sides like so to get rid of that plastic on the outside and revealing what's inside the box here obviously on top we're going to get the macbook pro itself uh, put that to a side and we're going to take a look at that in a second here but first of all just like any other unboxing let's go and take a look at the accessories here so the first one we're going to get here is obviously the magsafe adapter this has been slightly redesigned for the new macbook pro obviously it's a lot thinner so they had to redesign that adapter uh, here is the extender as well here we obviously have the uk pins so I live in the UK and there's the extender in case you want to extend it more next is the documentation so obviously this is where you're gonna have uh, all the um, information guides hello quick start guide uh, you're also going to get a MacBook Pro information guide along with the Apple stickers the best part of an unboxing and the cleaning cloth to keep your MacBook clean now let's take the plastic off the outside of the MacBook like so Silky smooth and go ahead and open this thing up so we can see we have the standard chiplet style Apple keyboard along with the usual trackpad uh, go and take the cover off the screen here and as you can see this thing looks beautiful and we haven't even powered it on yet so just to kind of show you how thin this really is obviously the cover glass uh, a section of the cover glass has now been removed so the screen is very thin uh, in terms of ports here we're going to get the MagSafe power adapter port along with two Thunderbolt USB 3.0 port along with an audio out port and on the other side we're going to get an SD card slot along with an HDMI port and another USB 3.0 port so I had to skip the setup process just for personal issues however you can see it's now powered on and it does look amazing the resolution on this thing is 2880 by 1800 which is pretty crazy considering the iMac actually has less than that and that's obviously a 27 inch display so anyway guys I hope you all enjoyed this video if you did then hit that like button just below it does really help me out and I'll see you guys in the next video see ya